Nigeria's main people's opposition, People's Democratic Party, was meant to retain power for 60 years. Well, at least uh, that was the boast of some of its members. Um, but it was shown the exit door from Asurok Villa after just 16 years instead of 60 years. Well, since losing power to the All Progressives Congress in 2015, a feat previously considered unthinkable, the erstwhile supposed biggest political party in Africa has sunk deeper and deeper into political irrelevance. And since it's lost the 2023 presidential election, the People's Democratic Party has become even more divided. In fact, it seems that the only way the ruling of Progressives Congress can progress is when the PDP implodes. Well, cast your mind back to the 2014-2015 um, election period and the new PDP group, which merged with other parties to form what is now the APC that cost the PDP that election. Also, it has been argued that the departure of key characters from the People's Democratic Party handed the 2023 presidential election to the All Progressives Congress, the likes of Rabi Busa Kwakwaso, the likes of Yeso Wike and Peter B. Now, the 2023 elections may yet prove to be the knockout blow for the former ruling party, the People's Democratic Party, as it is yet to recover from that election. Now, its national chairman, Iyo Chayu, an ally of its presidential candidate, Atiko Abubakar, became a casualty of the battle between Abubakar and former governor of River State, yes, Owike, his tenor prematurely ending after being sacked by a Makodi High Court. Well, since then, uh, the man who stepped into his position to be the acting national chairman of the party, Ambassador Elia Damugun, um, his adeptly national chairman of the party and his national working committee. They have failed to hold the party's statutory executive, national executive committee meeting for more than one year, leaving party members wondering what direction the party is taking. Now, with the long-awaited neck meeting now fixed for Thursday, April 18, attention has turned to what the agenda will and should be. The issues facing the party are enormous, and what happens on Thursday will, in part, determine the survival of the People's Democratic Party. Now, what are the pressing issues facing the People's Democratic Party that should be addressed? Number one, the North Central Zone has called for the acting national chairman, Damagum, to step down from his position in order to allow for the emergence of a substantive national chairman from the North Central, where the party originally zoned the position to in 2021. Um, of course, you know what happened to Ayu. Damagun is from Yobe State in northeast Nigeria, and he, he, wants, yeah, he wants to remain in that position and to be made substantial national chairman. The second issue facing the party, the issue of the governors and the party chieftains who openly worked against the PDP uh, presidential candidate in 2023, Atiko Bobakar, while openly supporting Bola Tidobo, the then candidate of the All Progressives Congress. The third issue facing the party, uh, the chairman of the 36 state chapters have resolved to submit names. They say they have names of high profile figures in the party who allegedly have been involved in anti-party activities. Now, that's going to be explosive. The fourth issue, the National Working Committee uh, is somewhat factionalized uh, between loyalists of Yeson Wike, the FCT minister, and loyalists of Atiku Abubakar, the party's uh, supposed leader. Samayo, for instance, national uh, vice chairman of the party as well, or national secretary, and the national vice chairman of the party, South Dan Obi, uh, are weakest key men in the national working committee uh, of the party. That's an issue there. The next one is uh, uh, regarding the tenors of the executives of the party in 19 states. The tenors of state executives, their local government and world chapters have expired in those 19 states and replacements are long overdue, uh, but this is a very exclusive matter. Don't forget, are you? himself was suspended by party executives who revealed that he had not paid his dues for some time. He was owing dues. The sixth issue, the issue of internal conflicts in some state chapters of the party, um, like River State, also hangs over the party. And finally, um, some stakeholders in the party believe that underground or external forces are controlling the party and keeping it in a comatose state. And the party will have to fashion a way to win itself of these external influences. Our guest tonight will help us analyze these issues facing the party. I'd like to introduce, um, joining us via video link, Mazi Dixon Namdi Wiroebu. Uh, he is a public affairs analyst. He's in Abuja. We have uh, Dr. 
Adeto Kumbo Pierce. Um, he's a public affairs analyst and convener of Reset Lagos. He is right here with us in the studio. And we have Imara Lume. He's a PDP member. He is in Abuja. Um, gentlemen, good evening to you and welcome to the program. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Pleasure to be here. All right. I want to start with you, Dr. Pierce of Reset Lagos. Um, wh why is it taking over 15 months for the People's Democratic Party to hold this next meeting? I cannot speak for the party. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but after uh, the shock defeat of 2023, it, uh, so many things confronting the National Working Committee. Uh, we have an acting national chairman, and so they're trying to deal with all these issues. And uh, the National Working Committee because I guess it's headed by uh, an acting uh, chairman, uh, could not take the bold steps. And you know, we had too many complications during the election, the G5 and so many other problems. Um, so I guess that's why it took time. And then another thing that happened was, you must recollect that um, the election results Especially the governorship were not resolved fully okay. until recently, in fact, maybe a month or two ago. So all of those things put together made it difficult. We didn't even know who was going to be a member of the NEC up till about a month ago because the issues, some issues were in court. But now we have uh, 13 or 14 governors. And so uh, now is the time, just at that issue of who's going to be a member of the NEC who's going to be governor, who's going to retain his position, who's not going to get it. So now we can talk about having it. So it's not as bad as it appears to be. All right. Uh, Mazi Irebu, what are your thoughts on, on you know, how long it's taken for your party? Um, I, I don't know whether you're a member of the PDP, <laughs> for the party, the People's Democratic Party, to, um, to, to meet. Thank you very much for this opportunity. First off, I am not a card carry member of the People's Democratic Party, God, even though oh, I have always. Sorry. It's okay. It's I have, okay. You're not wrong identifying me with PDP. Uh, I have always identified with the party's leadership and, of course, most of the time, the candidates of the party at the national level. Uh, in 2010, 2011, that's 2020, yeah. Jonathan, I supported Jonathan. Uh, 2014, 2015, I supported Jonathan. Uh, then also in 2019, I supported supported Alaji Atiku Abakar. So uh, you won't be wrong identifying me with the PDP. But of course, well, the well, party, I, I, I want to ask you what uh, happened in 2023. Let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I could go there. I could no. go there. The, the party in 2022. Uh, uh, the convention that held that brought about the candidate that emerged uh, in 20, for the 2023 election, that's actually where PDP, you know, went to sleep. The party went to sleep because I thought that PDP, having held power in Nigeria for 16 years, understood the mood of the nation at that time. Alas, they didn't, because if they did, the party ought to have known that zoning was actually well captured or is actually well captured in his constitution. And uh, those who say, oh, that uh, at that time, that the zoning uh, had to do with the party, the ruling party at that time, they didn't get it right because the constitution of Nigeria, which allows for, you know, uh, federal character. Nigeria came into existence by a Northern and Southern protectorate. PDP was not sensitive enough in 2022, 2023. Because it was wrong for anybody to imagine it, that after eight years of a northerner, that another northerner would take over. Uh, it was very wrong. The party mm. miscalculated uh, by giving its ticket to a northerner, as far as I am concerned. Um, because of that injustice, the party lost woefully. Uh, most of the members of the party worked against the party because the party went against its own document, its own constitution. And that's what got PDP to sleep. Now that they are coming awake, I hope that first thing they will get to first will be accepting that they made a mistake or made mistakes one way or the other during that convention. 
and then apologize to his team members, you know, who felt very aggrieved, particularly people of southeastern Nigeria, who felt very aggrieved that since the uh, 1999 democracy started, that this party has enjoyed loyalty from southeastern Nigeria. And when it came to their turn, mm, all the right. party refused, all right. refused them so, that ticket. So, Mama Mazi, you, 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 you're, you're pinpointing where the party... party Yes, you're pinpointing where the party got it wrong. Uh, quite interesting. Yes. Uh, Imran Olume, uh, I don't think I'll make any mistake here. You're a PDP member, um, card carrying. Um, w what's been happening for the last 15 months plus uh, has meant that the NEC meeting, which is a titri uh, organ of the, of the party, has not held? Um, good evening, and thank you for having me. Uh, basically, your uh, question was the happening. I don't think uh, there's anything much that happened. Besides the fact that we just finished election petition cases, and obviously, for obvious reasons, we would want you know these issues in court to be trashed before you have any issue to deal with party or party trying to convey the next meeting. But um, we're happy that at last there's some, there's some reason for them to you know uh, call for a next meeting on the 17th of this month, and we hope that some of these issues will be you know thoroughly discussed. As to what happened in the last election, um, I listened to you know Amazis you know <laughs> said some you know some things that he felt what the party should have done. I believe that anybody that followed that primary is very well. We realized that the primary was free and fair. Alaji Atika Bubakar won the primaries. Um, I do not I do not understand why anybody would feel that maybe party leaders would just pick or give anybody tickets. If you're interested in running for a position, you go canvas with party members, lobby party members, discuss to them, tell them your vision. And at the end of the day, if they believe in your vision and they decide to vote for you, um, that's, that's you know, good and fine. But I believe that we've passed that stage right now. Election have come and gone, so um, it doesn't make any sense for me, as I today, dwelling on what has happened in the last you know, one and a half years. Um, the most important issue as of today is that Nigerians are yearning for an opposition political party that can speak for them. Nigerians are yearning for an opposition party who can speak truth to power and you know and rally around Nigerians, especially with what we are facing today as a country. Sufferings going on, um, the mass poverty in the nation, people purchasing power today has become so low. So I believe that these are the issues. All right. What has happened okay. you know, uh, All right. So so he article won the election free and fair. Um, well, now that we, uh, uh, we're talking about to go, I'll come back to our guests in the studio. But, Amazi, um, you want yes, to respond please. to that very quickly? Yeah, I, I see the premise by which that primaries was conducted matters. Anybody who says Elijah Tukabaka won the primaries uh, free and fair is deceiving himself or herself. If the party it carried out the right process, there, there wouldn't have been the balkanization as we experienced in the party, where even the governors, some of them, about five of them, worked against the party. Let me remind my colleague, my, my friend, and the member of the PDP there where they went wrong. Remember that before the party set up its zoning committee, in fact, uh, the zoning committee was set up today. The next day, Elijah Tukabakar went out there to purchase or uh, his uh, expression of interest and nomination form. No, I think be before the zoning committee was even set up, that was wrong in the first place. The party ought to have exhausted the process of zoning like they did in 2017, 2018, 2017, when they concluded that the zoning should go straight up to northern Nigeria. They did that. And no, no, no southerner purchased expression of interest or nomination form in 2018, 2019, against the 2019 election. All right, so the party made a mistake. We must accept that. If the party does not accept that it made a mistake, then it started failing already, you know, in trying to uh, patch, patch where possibly that uh, 
the uh, water may have entered the, the ship. Because the truth is that there was a blunder committed by the party, by the party jettisoning its constitution. All right. It's not enough okay. for you to say, oh, let the person who has the highest uh, political watches go out there and win. It's not enough to say that. But the, but, 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 but the, 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 the committee, is, the party's the party committee, Mazi, Mazi, but the party's committee, Pa Mazi, I remember clearly what happened there. The party's committee announced um, uh, that they were throwing the contest open to Ozo. It was announced. That the way. point I'm making is that before that announcement, and when, the neck, mm. when the NEC set up the zoning committee, the, before the zoning, uh, the zoning committee was set up, the candidate of the party in 2023 had gone ahead to purchase his expression of interest form and All nomination right. form All right. before the zoning committee even came out to meet and then took that position, which he just... Okay, but that's interesting. That's now now we're talking know. about... Please, now we're... Please, please, for purpose of education, for purpose of education, I'm glad that my friend Mazi is not a PDP member, so it's good I correct some certain assertions that he's putting out here. For purpose of education, the neck men, and the neck expressly said that there was no decision on zoning, first and foremost. And anybody can go ahead and buy tickets at that point. After which, after which they set up a 36-man committee from one state, one person per state. At the end of the day, that 36-man that committee were going to do it, supposed to decide on if zoning was going to you know, happen in the PDP or not. And out of the 36 members in that committee, only one committee, only one member rather, came out and said that he believes that zoning should happen. 35 out of 36 said that they believe that the party, the ticket should be thrown open. And every um, state was represented, one per state. So if we come out to say today that uh, the party did wrong, will you say that even those members from the southeast who came out to say that zoning should not be adhered to? No right. You also, you know, uh, uh, find them guilty. So, this no, no, sure but that's not that's not the true picture. Okay. The what the the, 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 the information you just gave out now Gentlemen. is not the Gentlemen. right information. Let's let's Gentlemen. be let's be clear but, about but, it, right? So the, the point I have that. made, for, the for point I have made, I'm is that before, hello, excuse me, before that committee was set up, the candidate eventually, who was an aspirant at that time, the candidate, um, twisted the party and went out there and bought his form. That was before the Masi, committee came up with a Masi, position. I was, I was All right? present, I was present in that next I, I was very and active. I was there also. Wait, in fact, I was I was spokesperson to one please. of the aspirants at that time. Okay. Uh, okay. Senator so, Anim Pius Anim, I was, his, I was his official spokesperson at that time. So I am very much wait, aware wait, of what wait, I'm wait, saying. I'm wait, not telling you what I don't know about. No, no, let's put this. You see, Kofi, I will not want to put this back. Okay, like gentlemen, they gentlemen. More, they are more important. Yeah, gentlemen, I, 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 I want to crave your indulgence because um, we have to move on. And, but you've all, both spoken strongly and you've led us to the issue of Atiko Abubakar. And I want to come to Dr. Pierce right here in the studio. Dr. Pierce, mm -hmm. um, quite interesting, you know, conversation mm -hmm. with Matuma. But I saw you nodding your head. I know you have a lot to say about it. Uh, some of the view that Al Haji Atiko Abubakar mm -hmm. is a problem. Mm. of the People's Democratic Party. And if the party must get back on track, he needs to step down his ambition and relinquish, you know, that, that, that position he has in the party. Do you agree? Um, you know, a lot of the issues being discussed and being argued about uh, are actually based on wrong premise. Um, one thing that kept coming up was that Atiku and Baka um, twisted the party. And it goes to the question you asked too, if he should step down his position and so on. Look, I was a spokesperson for Atiku in that election, but not until he had got the ticket. You know, what happened was not what Mazi was saying. The other guy was completely right. If he follows the sequence of events, how do you, um, let me tell you the process. If you want to buy uh, 
interest form or nomination form. They will only sell it to you if it has been approved for sale. You can't go there before the announcement that from this day to this day, you can come and purchase your forms. So Atiku went to purchase when he was told that he could purchase. Nobody could have purchased. If you go to a, a, a data plaza, they will not sell you any form. So that's what happened. Now, coming to the future of Atiku Abaka and his power in the party, this is the way I look at it. In a democracy, you do not tell somebody not to exercise his or her right. If Atiku wants to contest again in 2027, and the party agrees that he can contest whether it comes from the north or the south, if that is the issue, because that's the only thing that can keep him out. He's a card carry member of the party. If he wants to run, he will come. So you want to um, twist anyone? How? Look, you go to a contest. You know, you say you want to run, and you are, you are allowed to run. You are allowed to purchase your forms. You buy the forms. You prepare your campaign. Then primaries come. If he's allowed to participate in the primaries for 2027, so be it. The point is, is he going to get enough support to win the nomination? The way things look now, I don't know. Nobody knows. So, but to say he should step down, he should do an exercise, he's right, that doesn't make any sense. And it's not going to happen. So let's just let the process open up. I'll tell you something. A lot of people have got something wrong. I'm a teacher, and I always look for evidence. I look for research. There is nothing in the PDP constitution. You notice everybody says in the PDP constitution, nobody has ever been able to quote, mm. because it doesn't exist. So this zoning doesn't exist it in the constitution? It does not exist in the constitution. That is why nobody has ever quoted a passage from the constitution. Did you notice that? Now. What happened in 2022 was simply an unfortunate misunderstanding, manipulation of the National Working Committee by some leaders that did not that, that encourage the idea of no zoning. And then, because I kept thinking about when they were arguing and talking mm -hmm. about, I said, if these leaders who want zoning they have to go and convince the National Working Committee. Okay. So, so once the National Working Committee said, they had a whole meeting, everybody, so many members, mm -hmm. they decided that there was not going to be any zone. But some other interests were also interested, one call it. If, if it would have been zoned, mm -hmm. the presidential ticket, mm -hmm. just a quick one, to which of these geopolitical zones would it have come to? That is... Southeast? That is going to... Now, now listen again. Somebody was saying... Uh, Southeast has been very loyal. Now, it's never zoned to, it's never subzoned. Oh. It is, north zoning is north or south. By the way, let me tell you what is zoned in the PDP. All the appointed positions, for instance, the National Organizing Secretary, the National okay. Secretary. So please hold the thought. I, I'm, I'm agreeing, Dodgers. We'll come back. Uh, for those of you watching at home, we're going to be back um, in a matter of uh, seconds to continue the conversation uh, on the 14th of the People's Democratic Party. Please stay with us. Welcome back. It's the Politics HQ. Still with us uh, in the studio. Well, still with me in the studio, we have uh, Dr. Adito Kumbo Pierce, his uh, public affairs analyst, uh, convener of Reset Lagos. Mazi Dixon Nambi Irebu is a public affairs analyst. Um, a sympathizer of the People's Democratic Party. <laughs> he doesn't have a membership card. He's in Abuja. I used to. Mazi, hold on, hold on. And uh, Imadu Rume is a card-carrying member of the PDP in Abuja who believes that uh, Mazi doesn't know as much as he does uh, since he's not a member of the party. Gentlemen, it's good to have you. Um, uh, let's talk about the, uh, the national, uh, you know, me the meetings. Um, I want to continue with you, Dr. Pierce. How crucial... Because we have the National Caucus meeting, uh, the caucus meeting is fixed for April 17th. That's Wednesday. And then we have the uh, Board of Trustees will meet on Thursday, April 18th, 
before the neck meets on uh, that same Thursday, April 18th. Mm -hmm. How crucial are these meetings? Very crucial because uh, they have to resolve some of the very sensitive issues. <clears throat> How do you deal with the issue of uh, anti-party activities for the 2023 election? So um, who is uh, anti-party and to what extent are you going to go? Are you, going to, are you going to expel the G5 governors? Are you going to suspend them? Are you going to put a fine on them? What's going to happen? These are very serious issues. Because I think that if they are very honest and sincere and courageous, we have to basically forgive some of the wrongs that have happened. Because one of the things that Damago, the acting national chairman, said uh, a few times now was that it was so difficult to probe anti-party activity in this last election. Too many people were involved in too many different ways. But I would say even if you are not able to put pressure on people who were found to be working for another party, another candidate, yeah. for instance, what we could do now is to say, after the election, who and who is still continuing to be anti-party? Uh -huh. If we draw the line there, I think we will solve most of the problem. Interesting. Interesting. That's what I think. Interesting. Very crucial meetings. Um, I just want to take the thoughts of, um, uh, I'll go to Mazi next, um, uh, on, on the role, just to go back to Atiku Abubakar. Uh, Mazi, um, do you think um, that Atiku as some view as the problem of the party um, should be, you know, actually relinquish his ambition and take a step aside, you know, for others to take the saddle as leaders of, of the party. Mazi. Thank you very much. Uh, first off, this is the constitution of PDP. I have it right here with me. Chapter one. Okay, I'm going Chapter to open mine one. as well. Just, let, just so that I identify the place where there is zoning, because uh, our Ogadi has said there is, not, uh, there is no zoning in black and white. It is written here. It says in Chapter 1, uh, the Part 3C, it says, Ad the part that is in aims and objectives. The party shall adhere to the policy of the rotation and zoning of party and public elective offices in pursuance of the principle of equity, justice, and fairness. Black and white, a PDP constitution is here. So those who don't know, they should know now that it is in the PDP constitution that zoning is well captured. Now, the aspect Rotation. of Alaji Atiku Abakar, you see... Okay, but, uh, before you go, Mazi, I'm so Rotation. sorry. Uh, is that, is that Rotation. what section of the, of the uh, constitution of PDP? I'm sorry? What section? Because we want to just be sure. Chapter, that we're, we're one, chapter one of the PDP Constitution, Part Three, okay, Part Three C. Three. Okay. This is the very current PDP Constitution. This is the very current one, hmm. right? Okay. Uh, this was amended in 2017. This hmm. is the very latest PDP Constitution. So it's there in black and white. Now, on the aspect of Alaji Atukwa Bakar, in 2018, during the primaries of PDP. The PDP zoned its uh, party ticket to northern Nigeria. The 12 of them, the 12 aspirants who contested for the PDP ticket in 2018 were all northerners. No single southerner purchased form. I have stated also that, yes, the party leadership failed in upholding this document because before opening uh, sales for form, yeah. Right, they had just set up the committee. But, but Bazi, Dr. Then Pierce here is saying is saying that the committee yeah. to exhaust rotation. Ma Mazi, yeah, yeah. Mazi, sorry, say, sorry to interject. That, yeah, Mazi, hold, that, hold the thought. Yes, the reading of that constitution is wrong. Rotation of public offices. Are you going to rotate the presidency? Did we make him president? That is not part of I'm what is rotated. Look, look. You know what is rotated? What is rotated are the people who already have the positions. The national no, that's secretary. Not true. That's not true. The, 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 ah, well, wrote, that is where the, the argument PDP is. This document, as far back as 1999, PDP hadn't gotten power as far back as 1999. It was captured ab initio from day one that PDP shall adhere, adhere to rotation 
and zoning of public offices. Before we do that all power. the time. Let me, let me, let me, we do that me all the time. Me. For all the offices from the national, from the, uh, from the, uh, from the national chairman, all the way to the assistant national secretary, not the presidency. This is where the argument is, no, and no, this no. is it where the problem clearly. is. It clearly, so let me how do you, how do you rotate presidency? Zoning of party and public offices. Zoning okay, of party okay, and okay, public okay, elective okay. offices. Is here, sir. I'm not quoting from my head. It's written in black and white, and I think we we'll understand that. But let me just focus on the aspect of Alaji Atiku. Okay, but, but, uh, see, uh, but hold on, Mazi, because Imaro, you've seen him, you know, waive the party constitution. But in my own copy, maybe is an order. Doesn't have that here because uh, chapter three, I, I hope part three talks about the motor. But what's your amended. thought? Yeah. 2017. Okay, mine, mine shows the motto and slogan of the party. But, Emmanuel um, <laughs> um, 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 you've seen him waving the party's constitution. No. Can, you can a member, you ought to know you better. Ask me, you asked me about Alaji Atiku Abaka's ambition. Can I please yeah, yeah, no, but, but the constitution, now, no, hold on. The interpretation is, is, a, is a sticking point. So let's have Emmanuel Ome uh, take his habit sentence. You see, you see, the truth is, my friend obviously stated that he's not a true member. So let's even go back, back to this. In 1999, when Obasanjo contested the election, Abubakar really contested the election. He's from Kano State, he's from the North. Um, in 2007, when Yeradua won the election, you know the number of people from the South that contested that election. So this conversation of zoning or no zoning, it doesn't stop anybody from contesting election. I, yes, I, but, but I, is, I, is it a constitutional Emmanuel, provision? Emmanuel, while I agree, while I agree that indeed, yes, that, no, no, the point you made, please, can I, can I please interject a bit? Can I interject a bit? Can I interject a bit? The point you made about, yeah. yes, no, no, Mama, 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 hold on, allow so Emmanuel finish, please. Constitutionally, yes. no, Mama, 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 hold on, please, let's allow Emmanuel, Emmanuel land. Emmanuel was still landing. is that the party needed to say it out, that he has zoned, this, the ticket to so 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 place that didn't stop any other person from contesting. But the point is that the party, the tradition of the party is important. The party needed to uphold its tradition, but which is that you zoned it, me, you zoned it to but southern but Nigeria. You interjected me, but let me repeat it for, for, for emphasis. The party, the only time the party came out expressly to state that zoning of the presidency was going to go to a particular region was in 2018. No, but, 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 but Imano, Imano, no, no. Marzi's point, Imano, sorry, Marzi, hold, hold your thought. Marzi, hold your thought, hold your thought, Marzi, hold your thought. Nine, it happened. Yeah, gentlemen, gentlemen, so gentlemen, gentlemen please, please, uh, gentlemen, please. Imano, gentlemen, please, 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 please. please. Uh, Imano, Marzi's point is that he has a document in his hand called the Constitution of the PDP that says, according to him, Chapter 1, Part 3, that there should be a rotation of the public offices of your party. So he's saying it is constitutional. Public offices and party offices. So let's allow Emmanuel Mazi, hold on. Today, Ma, Ma. I'm telling you today, I'm telling you today that that constitution that he is he's reading associates with party positions. If you go by that same constitution, it means that national assembly uh, 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 positions will also be zoned. State assembly elections will also be zoned. Uh, Senate elections will also be zoned in, in the entire country. So I am telling you today that that constitution expressly is talking about the party positions in the party. Dr. Press, do you agree? That's exactly what I said. Yes, Dr. Press, you agree it's talking about party okay, okay, position. Okay, please, let me this is this. why I tried to explain the details. Who is not a party member? And I, I, like <laughs> I said, I would, have more, I would have felt more comfortable to discuss moving forward. These are issues that, for me, they are at this point, they are mundane. Okay, hold on, hold the thought. Imano, hold, hold the thought. If we, if, we, if we argue about this from now to tomorrow... Yeah, we, 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 we'll, we'll come to what you want us to discuss. Imano, thank you, thank you. Moving forward, moving forward is also you know, why I asked whether for the party to move forward should I take a step aside. But Dr. Pierce, you wanted to add something. Do you agree I, that, 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 that section so, talks so, about the, the party's party internal positions? positions yes. That's why I said all the way from the national chairman yeah. to the uh, deputy secretary to the lowest, from the top to the bottom. We do it all the time. In 2022, it was done. It's going to be done again now when all the positions that are held by people from the north 
will come to the south and the reverse will happen. They do it all the time. It's this presidency that is not part of it. It is not written in that constitution. My own interpretation of that is that mm. it, does, it includes every party position and we keep faithfully to that. Okay. It is the issue of presidency. Now, but, what happens? Um, Every year, every time we're going to an election, the National Working Committee has the final word on these things. They have meetings, they have deliberations, then they decide. All right. And that's what happened in 2022. Okay. They said, no zoning. We, we, we have more and that issues. is why yes. Atiku was able to go and buy the farm. They would All not right. accept his money if no. they had been zoning, no. which zoned him out. All right, interesting. Um, we'll go for no, a break. That's and not true. When we come that's back, we want to look at, at some other mm -hmm. issues when we return from this break, gentlemen. So please stay with us. Welcome. Uh, welcome back. If you've just joined us, you've been missing out on very, very interesting conversations. Still with me, Emmanuel May, PDP member, Justice Bavidu, Nikin Abuja, Dr. Day to compare as uh, public affairs analyst and convener of Reset Lagos PDP, and uh, Mazi Dixon Namdi uh, Irebu, who is a public affairs analyst. Um, a sympathizer of the People's Democratic Party. Um, gentlemen, um, I want to give Emmanuel a chance to answer the question you, you both have answered. Uh, Emmanuel, should I take over Abubakar, um, recuse himself, step aside and say, okay, um, my time is done. Okay. My time is okay, done. Let me tell you the truth. Eh? That question doesn't even arise at this time. And, and I will tell you the reason why I said so. We just finished an election not too long ago, in less than a year. At the, at, at the stance today, the most important issue stopping the PDP is how will the PDP organize themselves and then put together themselves, reconcile, you know, differences, and then begin to act as an effective opposition party. The issue of whether article should contest or not is still less, it's still, in fact, we're still three, three years from now. So for me, I don't even understand why we should be having that conversation now. Elections just, the 2023 election just finished less than nine, ten months ago. So why this whole conversation of whether Atiku should contest or not? For me, right. I don't believe, I don't see a reason why okay. that should be an issue. All right, all right. Uh, Imano, Imano, <laughs> just, just to, to, move, to move this conversation forward. Yes, Imano, sorry. Yeah, you don't made a comment on that, though. Yes, yes, yes. Just to yeah. move this conversation forward. Because of time. I yeah. think it's important to know where the party went wrong because to move forward, you have to fix the problems. But um, one of the contentious issues uh, is regarding the position of national chairman. I'm, I want to stay with you, Mano. Um, what decisions should the party take regarding the national chairmanship? Because the national vice chairman, North, who is the acting chairman, is from Northeast. And uh, the people of the North Central are saying, give us back what belongs to us, what was zoned to us before IU was um, uh, uh, you know, removed in 2021. Imano, what do you think should happen? Simple. I stand with that position. I believe that the national chairman should go back to the North Central. Um, this is nothing new. You remember, I think it was in 2015, after the general election in 2015, when we lost that election, uh, the game, you know, uh, former chairman, game changer, as it was then called, resigned, and Secondus was acting. And, you know, uh, God bless his soul. Ahmed Bula, went to court, and the Supreme Court made an interpretation that that position is to disown. So based on that conversation alone, I believe that the North Central should complete their tenure. I believe that it's the proper thing for the North Central to complete their tenure. And in particular, it should come from the state. And I've seen few candidates who have, you know, thrown their hats um, and said that they're interested Mm. Uh, former governor Chris Swan from the United States who have said he's interested. If you ask me of my own candidate opinion today, of all the candidates I have seen, he is the strongest person that has the strongest personality as of today to move the party forward. I, 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 I'm just saying that right. it is. All right. The PDP needs a strong all right. voice. Okay, thank you very much, Imano. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mazi, what are your thoughts on, on this, this issue of national chairmanship? Because Damagum, the acting national chairman, um, is he, he wants to remain in that position or to move on to become the substantive national chairman? Well, uh, before I even address that, because I didn't answer your question on Atiku Abakar's aspiration. You see, if this party is serious, all right, 
the individual so-called that made this party not allow the constitution to stand should be you know should take a should take the side the side position right now ali alaja tukobaka should put the party interest first the people of nigeria's interest first and then consider what is the mood of the nation now the power as the more at the moment should go to southern nigeria and All that's right. what it should just okay. be. Okay, so, 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 so that being said, it, that being said, the what, what's your position on the national chairmanship? Yes, the acting chairmanship, right? Yes, it should remain in northern Nigeria, all right? Because if the party is serious about 2027, and anybody who thinks it is too early to start discussing 2027 probably is not a good politician. Hmm. The party should start planning towards 2027. And one thing first that they should get right is the chairmanship position. Okay. It should come from northern Nigeria, so that whoever the party will present in 2027 should come from southern Nigeria. That way, the party is serious. All right, all right. Anything outside it, PDP is not ready to come back to all power. Right, uh, uh, and uh, if anybody doesn't understand uh, that the document has, has, has carried the party up to, that had this party together for 16 years in power, thank you. that thank it you. has written in it black and white, thank that you. there should be rotation of both party office and public offices. Thank you very much, Mazi. Thank you very much, Mazi. Thank you very much, Mazi. I'm sure at the end of this meeting. The fathers of the party put in there to ensure that all Nigerians are carried along. Because Thank you, Mazi. Mazi, because of time, I'm trying to manage time. Mazi, I'm trying to manage time. I'm sure that at the end of this program, Mazi, you have to get a, a membership card. But I want to come to, I want to, come to I, Dr. Pierce in the studio. Um, Dr. Pierce, please, please. Organ, please, please. 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 Please, Mazia said north, but do you say it should go back to the north central? Because north central people are not interested in hearing north. They feel it must come back to them. You know, this is one of the most simple of our challenges. It is written in the constitution. It's been zoned to the north central. And it is going to, the north central will complete the term of the north central. So that is not a problem at all. The real challenge is going to be after this completion of this term, will there be zoning regarding the national chairmanship and where will it go? Now, that is really what is important. This issue of who's going to complete, no, 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 the North Central will complete the term. And I think it's going to be even Benway, precisely. Okay. They complete the term. All right. Then we go to after that term is completed, which I think is 2026. Uh -huh. now, now I begin to see about 2027. Uh, that is where the challenge is. All right, interesting. And should it come to the south in 2027, the, the chairmanship? Well, you know, so what you can tell from what Marzi is saying, it was the mood. All right. Not mood is. It's a feeling, it's a temperamental, it's okay. not logic, it's not science, it's not in the Constitution. The mood at that time okay. was okay. for the presidency right. to come to the South. This is why the G5 argued against Talk, going to the Talking North. about the G5, Dr. Pierce, yes. um, do you expect there to be some internal house cleaning, you know, come Wednesday and Thursday, from the caucus to the BOT to the NEC meeting? With regards to the G5 or integrity group, Wiki, Bazu, um, Shei Makinde, uh, um, and, uh, and, and so on and so forth. You think that, and there are supporters, some of whom are still in the party, who are still in the party, rather. You think there will be, and there should be some internal house cleaning? There has to be. <clears throat> but what I think should solve the problem, at least uh, reduce the tension, would be to say, okay, you have been guilty of anti party. You have worked against the candidate of the party, presidential candidate, and it has not been good for us. But after that election, what have you done for the party? If you have continued to work against the party, to work in the interest of the opposition, then you have no reason being in the party. Can the party do that? Oh, well, this is what I think must be done. All right. Uh, any, any, but if, since after this election, 
you have learned your lesson that you cannot work against the party, even if they find those who worked against the party, or give them some kind of, uh, uh, they have to be, they have to be, they, they have to, they have to be paid back. All right. But it shouldn't be to the extent of the person who continues after the election, because if you worked against the party's candidate, and since then you've been very strong in helping the party grow, doing so many things for the party, then. We have to be cognizant of that. All right, interesting. Masi, where do you stand on this? Because, I mean, it could be argued that the party has now become a toothless bulldog. And even though it's obvious, like Dr. Pierce has said, that there has to be some house cleaning, and those who worked against the party in quote anti party activities should be axed, expelled, removed from the party. And, but we see the NWC National Green Committee divided down the line. We see uh, even the NEC having loyalists of. Yes, so we can take up Bubaka. For instance, in the NWC, like we talked about Dan Obi and Samayang, um, should and can the party discipline uh, its members who worked against it? Is that for me now? Yes, Marzi. <laughs> okay. Uh, quickly, uh, please. The founding fathers of PDP, in fact, the first chairman of PDP, Dr. Alex Ekweme, it was he at the Abacha conference in 1995 that proposed the rotational presidency in Nigeria. He, he proposed the CGO political zones at that yeah, Abacha but conference we, we, we in moved on from that. But no, we don't have, we don't have rotational presidency in Nigeria. Party, PDP, look, look, he ensured that it was well captured We do in not have rotational presidency now, in the constitution of Nigeria. I just wanted to educate members of PDP who may not know where they got it wrong that made them stay out of power. Mazi, uh, 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 we, we, we want to move on. We moved on from that. 2023. Mazi, we moved on from that. Mazi, we moved on from that. Okay. Uh, uh, the thank you, Mazi. Of the party. Mazi, but tell me, I'm tell sorry? me, tell me what you think the party should do. Should it have some house cleaning and take care of these people who the, work? The, the, the leadership of the party, as so constituted now, cannot discipline any member of that party, as far as I'm concerned. The leadership okay. of the party, of PDP right now, cannot discipline anybody. Those Why? who they want to discipline. Why? Is it not those who have been funding the party? <laughs> is it the, uh, who is funding the party right now? Uh, as I challenge the leadership of PDP to discipline these G5 governors, they cannot do that. Oh, Imaro, what, what do you say to that? We, Imaro, what do you say to the fact that? You say the party is cannot. Only working Imaro. with the opposition party, the ruling party. Imaro, thank you, Mazi Imaro. <laughs> And so this is this is my own opinion to it. I completely agree with Dr. Pierce what he has said. Um, the truth of the matter as it stands today is that we know so many people had you know engaged in this anti-party activity. But moving moving on, I think moving forward, I think basically those that have stopped or those that have you know we, we, we considered their decision after looking at what had happened in the last election and then they decided to work for the party. I believe those people can be forgiven. But those that have continued in the act of sabotaging the party and you know, engaging in anti-party activities should be asked from the party. And, you know, just to... Can, can the party do that? The can the party do that? Quickly, please. Can the party yes, do let that? Me, let, me, let me tell you, give the neck in the next, in the next meeting on the, 7th, on the 18th of this month. The neck can decide to discipline party members. All right, members. All right. gentlemen, have, thank you. End of music. Thank you. And, and you see, this is why, this Thank is you. why members of the Labour Party, of which Mazi is a member. Because <laughs> so I was asking him where he went in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't tell me. He, 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 he was in the PDP office in 2023. He left that out. Thank you, gentlemen. Mazi, the cat has been let out of the back, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> All right, Mazi uh, Dixon, Namdi Rebu, uh, Dr. Adeto Kumba Pierce in the studio. Thank you, sir. And of course, Emmanuel Ume in Abuja. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time tonight. My name is Kofi Bartel, signing out. See you tomorrow.